So before I even get started, I'm just going to go through uh, things that you will probably need. This is what I recommend anyway. Going to need some towel or maybe a, like this is sort of like cloth towel or paper towel or an actual real towel. First of all, soak up all the water that's in the corner like I showed you where all that water is sitting. Now you don't have to buy a big tube of this, um, but it's just as cheap to buy a big tube. Uh, make sure it's 100% silicone, that's all that matters. And preferably go with the black color because all the silicone is black and the trunk is black. And if you're using one of those big tubes like what I have there, you're going to need, uh, these are cheap, you can get these for like six bucks or something. Uh, if you've never seen one of these before, it just basically fits in there. You'll need a knife to cut off the tip and probably an ice pick because a lot of these have a seal down here. So in order to get it flowing, you have to stick an ice pick in the, in the end once you get it cut off a bit. Okay, I recommend getting some rubbing alcohol. Uh, get the highest percentage you can because I'll show you what we're going to use that for. And these days, so I don't get my uh, nice, uh, you know, sensitive, uh, beautiful hands dirty, I use gloves, especially with the silicone. I mean, that stuff's impossible to get off. So, you know, protect your hands a bit. Okay, I'm going to uh, get this set up a little bit more and uh, show you how to go about this without, you know, making this a big ordeal. It will just take a take a little bit, little while and a little bit of effort. Oh, last item, I forgot. Especially if it's already wet down in the trunk, um, a hair dryer. We're going to utilize this too to make sure things are dry. Okay, so the best way to get started here really is if you just pull up, by the way, if you didn't realize, uh, your spare tire is down under here. Now my little clip to hold this up is broken, so I'm just going to prop it up. There, that way you're holding that up out of the way. I mean, the water will fill up so bad in here that it will actually fill up in the trunk. It fills up in the battery compartment. Uh, it's just not a good situation. Okay, so that's out of the way. And the next thing you need to do, like I was showing you, take this side stuff here, just pull it back, get it all out of the way. And once again, you can see all the water there. And I happen to have, I'm just gonna start off with a towel to soak up this water. So let me get that soaked up and somewhat dried out. And I'll be right back with the next step. Okay, I just realized something. If you're, now my trunk looks in really good shape here, but uh, what you can do, and I would suggest doing this before you get too crazy with the cleaning, is go in with an ice pick and clean off. If there's corrosion there, try to scrape some of that off and make sure you get out any loose uh, silicone material that's already in there. There you can see. You want to get that out. Scrape anything out that's, uh, you know, not glued down really well. So go ahead and do that. Okay, so I soaked up all the water with the towel, best as I could. And now what I'm going to do, I'm not going to show you this, I mean, just waste time, but take your rubbing alcohol, uh, pour a bit in there, get it wet, get some into the seam, uh, right up there, right along here. And then dry it out again with some paper towel. You don't need to use a lot of alcohol. It just basically cleans the dirt off, clean any dirt off, get it nice and clean. And it will also help to drive out the water. And then once you have it all dried, make sure it's dried really well because alcohol is flammable. And the next step is, I'm just trying to get it out here. Take a hair dryer, you know, get, get your alcohol far away. Make sure it's dry. You don't want to start it on fire. And turn on your hair dryer on low for, I'm going to give this at least half an hour. Um, and again, you can actually see, and I've, I, I did some water testing. The water is just basically coming in right here. Uh, there's a little, you can actually see some rust there. But again, I cleaned all along here. So when I put the silicone in there, I'm, I'm going to do all along the seam and, and overlap the edges a bit. And that's pretty much going to solve the problem. Um, 
it's so simple. I know other people, I've seen videos, like I said, they take off the fenders and panels and all this stuff. Most cases, you don't have to do that. Usually it's just along in this seam here. Okay, so I'm going to uh, get that cleaned out good and get my hair dryer on there, let it dry for about half an hour, then we'll be back with the next step. Okay, it's all nice and dry, nice and warmed up. Especially if you're in a colder area, it's great to get things heated up and dried out. So, I have my silicone ready. And what you're looking at here, this is this is uh, the wheel well. So I'm going to start up about an inch above uh, where they start their silicone. And I'm going to try to force it somewhat into this seam here. So let's just get that rolling. Okay, I know it looks a little bit messy now, but don't worry, we'll get that cleaned up. And then I'm just going to run the, the bead along the edges of the existing silicone. But I'm going to get some silicone back in the seam here. Put some back here. Alright. Now I'm just going to work this in with my hand. Might be a little bit messy, but... Gotta do what you gotta do. All right, so let's just start going ahead, working this silicone into the back here. Got to push it in there. Get right back into that seam. Bring it all the way up. Again, got to got to use a motion. That kind of got to force it in all the way to the back. Yeah, I know it's messy, but I'll just keep going at it. Okay, I'll try to make this look a bit good now. All right, just a little bit of cleanup here. Okay, so it looks pretty tidied up now, and I guess I'm just gonna let this dry up and give her another test. Hopefully, this has solved the problem. Okay, thanks for watching so far. Well, I had been waiting for it to rain. I thought it was gonna rain yesterday, and today it did sprinkle a little bit, but just not enough. So, I'm going to spend five minutes here. Let's make it rain on the car so we can check that trunk.
Okay, here we go. It's silicone 2.0. I did up along the edges, like I said, up there. And uh, I know the silicone is very shiny. It might look like it's wet, but I have a dry towel here. And I'm going to set this down in there. I don't know, nothing. If there should be water anywhere, it should be right in that corner. And... No water, so... Okay, so make sure when you do this, put the silicone all along the edges, run it right up in between, into that seam all along here um, there you go all the way up and voila wow I mean if something changes I'll let you know but I think I got her anyways have a great day enjoy the video like subscribe click the bell notifications for more all right Woo! drop my stuff Well, it looks like I got it sealed up just in time. Crazy weather.